My name is John Inwood. I'm a cinematographer. I've been a cinematographer for almost 20 years. My first break in television was shooting a Nickelodeon show called The Adventures of Pete and Pete, which was a great show to shoot because the camera was another character and it was a lot of, a lot of fun. And we did, we did um, interesting shots and moved the camera a lot, which ultimately led to me doing um, the TV series Scrubs, which we shot in Super 16 for uh, NBC and then ABC. And I worked on that for eight years, over 160 episodes. Uh, so I've spent, spent a lot of time on that, and I've been off that for about a year. And uh, have shot, went through my indie film period and shot most of those in 35, some of them in Super 16, and most recently shot one with The Red, um, which was a really great experience. And I worked um, with uh, Zeiss lenses, and, and that was terrific. So Abel Cinetech approached me about working on a short film uh, using Zeiss Compact Prime lenses to sort of test them out and to show them off to people who might be interested in using them. Uh, the, the object of shooting the film was to tell the story, you know, under some low budget conditions, which would thereby um, test the lenses, test these, this new series of lenses under, you know, somewhat extreme conditions and see what we could do with them and, and run them through their paces. And uh, so we thought it would be great to, to you know, start it with, with some dawn shots because it's beautiful, take advantage of the production value New York has to offer, but also to see how the lenses perform under you know, extreme contrasty situations. So we have the bicycle riding over the Brooklyn Bridge, capturing a beautiful sunrise, and you can see how uh, our very longest lens, the 85, how it just captures that beautiful dawn light, that the gorgeous sky, um, but how the silhouette of the bridge is absolutely snappy and you know, just crisply silhouetted. You know, there's no milk at all. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, um, you know, scenic backdrop in New York City. Um, and then we went to the extreme wide end of the lens with the eight, with the 18 to actually shoot our, you know, featured bicycle riding past us. And it's a little later, you know, and the, sky, the sky's gotten a bit brighter. And you can see, though, how um, it's handling extreme contrast. You're, you're seeing the sun through clouds, um, but it's still holding... Uh, the beautiful uh, orange of the of the dawn sky, and it's still holding detail in her face, which I think is a pretty pretty extraordinary. So in this in this uh, sequence where we introduce um, our our woman character with the bicycle riding up, you know, we again we wanted to to really uh, push our lenses and see how how they could how how they could take extreme situations. And we start you know with a small crane shot looking directly into the sun. And here, we wanted to flare, we wanted, but we wanted an appealing flare that, uh, you know, looked good and looked look dramatic. And as you can see, you know, the flare, it's, it's a very beautiful flare. And as we come off the sun and we come down the fire escape, and by the way, when, while we're seeing the flare, um, you know, the contrast and the detail of the fire escape is holding up completely. And as we come down off of that and we see our character riding towards us, even though the sky at the top of the frame is extremely bright and blown out, she's perfectly in detail and, and perfectly sharp. There's no milkiness, there's no flare interfering with her image and, and with the rest of the shot. So, I, I mean, that's terrific. So as will happen on any kind of shoot, uh, big budget or low budget, you know, you'll start out and it'll be beautifully, beautiful and sunny and then you'll lose it. And uh, we did, you know, so we got into some clouds and some overcast. I had to do a series of shots with the two boys chasing each other with a variety of di different lenses. And sometimes, it, you know, that can be disappointing because you'll, you know, the light is so soft and you'll, you know, you'll lose contrast, you'll lose vibrancy in the color, saturation. But I thought the lenses held up extremely well and um, as you watch the film, it cuts pretty well. Even though you're going from extreme sun to overcast, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, uh, it isn't disconcerting, it doesn't take you out of the story. And that's partially because the contrast does hold up with the lenses and the saturation. So in, in uh, the next sequence, uh, we, we actually shot the next day and it, we got sun again which was nice. It was nice for this first shot. We shot with a 35 and our, our beautiful actress in the green dress, we panned her out with a 35. And uh, it's a good, good looking shot. And then we cut to her and we go to a lower angle on the 85 and we're shooting her right up against a very blown out sky. And sometimes in that situation, the brightness right up against, you know, the darkness of her hair, uh, the darkness of the phone, sometimes that can compromise the detail and you can get some milkiness in there. But the lenses really held up. Um, they weren't being flared directly, but the, sometimes the brightness of the sky right behind and right next to a very dark part of the frame 
uh, sometimes it can compromise the darker part of the frame.